Hi, my name is Martina Lard. I'm the director of the English Language Institute at Seneca College. Um, and I'm at a conference, went to a session yesterday led by um, a gentleman named Twitchy, believe it or not, yes, Twitchy. And um, for 90 minutes, Twitchy um, was probably the most entertaining speaker I have ever heard at a conference. Uh, informative, but so incredibly entertaining. Uh, he had a very serious group of participants um, throwing red paper at each other, putting on clown noses, um, absolutely mesmerized. There wasn't a single person that left the room. I've been to, I can't tell you, hundreds of conferences in my professional life as an educator, and this was really one of the best sessions I have ever attended. Um, it, it was at the end of a day, we were all dead tired, and as I say, no one left the room. We all stayed, and we all got something out of it. Besides being extremely uh, participative in this and, and getting to know our colleagues better within the, the realm of this session, we just had a blast but learned a lot. And everyone was hooked. One of the best I've ever heard. Um, here's a little bit of footage uh, that you can see where you can see Twitchy in action. And um, you, uh, he has Tourette syndrome, but it's the non-swearing kind. Uh, this will give you an idea of, of this kind of session. <laughs> Think about it. Who is the last person who should ever be a public speaker? <laughs> Someone with Tourette's syndrome. Okay, so over here, what makes you just go, oh no, this sucks, man. What's going on? Public humiliation. Public humiliation. Come with me on stage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, by the way, how many times have you ever been to one of these sessions and you said to yourself, this speaker sucks? The information is boring, it's monotone, it's got no relation. Everything we're going to learn today is based on honesty, integrity, and truth. I want to be an airline pilot. I flew solo. Imagine if I'd been successful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to United Flight 54 from Los Angeles to New York. Today we're going to be flying at an altitude of 28,000 feet, then go down to 14,000 feet, then over to 7,000 feet, and then rapidly right back up to 32,000 feet because our captain has Tourette Syndrome. We've done this over the last 10 years across North America. We've done it in Amsterdam, we've done it in London, in the Bahamas. We even took this information to Sri Lanka about five years ago. And these are the words which come up all the time. Liar, cheap, pushy. These are the words that come up when you think you're getting sold. <laughs> Try it. Don't, put, don't hurt the person in front of you. Just go. Try it now. Go from your left. Put it in reverse. Honey, you're not going to believe what happened. Luckily, I got them in front of me. Who here wants to take 20 minutes off your commute? Oh, and you knew I was going to do that. If that's it, take all that negativity out of yourself. Rub it all up. And because it's just like Tamatina, think of this as a tomato. And now just whack the living crap out of someone close to you. Can you hit me? You're a bunch of girls. You feel like girls. Oh, you're half girls. Is that it? Is that what you can do? Throw at each other. Yes. Oh, hey, good one. Now pick them up and throw them again. Yes, good. Lovely. Excellent job. Fantastic. 1,200 people throwing pieces of paper. Now why don't you get, why don't you take that back and put it into your office at 9 o'clock in the morning when you're making the first phone calls. Keep it going, keep it going. Are we serious? I want to hear more. More. How about some people standing? Yeah. Get into it. Well. Oh. Okay, she missed my face. Okay, so why don't we do it again? You throw like a girl. <laughs> okay, now everybody say, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, perfect. Bang on, good shot. The beautiful thing about this is, 
is that this, if you can get rid of this, watch out, because your life will go to another level. And maybe what the best way that we can really take ourselves to the next level is give our little inside, uh, chi our inner child a nudge. Or maybe we can take that rookie and help them get to the next level. What you're going to do is you are literally going to rely and lean back on all of those negative beliefs that you've picked up, all those uninvited voices, and what they're going to do is they're going to rid your life of the potential that you can go to. So the tools I'm teaching you today are based on honesty, integrity, and truth, and everything that I've committed the last 10 years to this core program, because these are the tools which keep me sane. And by the way, uh, just this week we signed a deal to go work with Coca-Cola. Not too bad, the little twitch that could. You just need to figure out what the twitch is inside of you. Who here commits to trying the thing and driving to work with a nose and positively traumatizing someone? You'd be amazed what will happen. <laughs>